In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to build a dashboard in Web GUI using status gauge and event viewer. This video was recorded using IBM Dash version 3.1.3 .3 and Web GUI 8.1 Fixpack 13. This slide lists the main steps for building the dashboard. Step number one insert sample data into object server database for two nodes. Step 2. Create filters in Web GUI to filter data for each node. Step 3. Build a new page using status gauge and event viewer. Let me demonstrate these steps. I am going to use Omnibus Administrator to insert sample data into the object server database using the sequels listed on this slide. Please watch the steps in the video. I am going to run all these sequels and then use select statement to view all the data I just inserted into the database. Now I'm going to demonstrate step number two. In this step, I'm going to create filters in Web GUI to view the data I inserted into object server database in the previous step. Please watch the steps in the video on how to create filters. Step number three. In this step, I am going to show how to build a dashboard using status gauge and event viewer. Please watch the steps in the video.
Now I'm going to select data set and other properties of the gauge. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for the second gauge. Finally, I am going to add two wires on the page and then use node clicked on event to link the gauges to the event viewer. Please watch the steps in the video. The gauges are not updated automatically to reflect the current status of the node. So I am going to add a refresh timer widget on the page to achieve this. Please watch the steps in the video. Let us test the functionality of the dashboard. Once you open the dashboard, each gauge will show the highest severity of the respective node. The event viewer will show the events based on the default filter and view. If you click on a gauge, the events related to respective node will be displayed. I am going to update the severity of two events and you will see that will be reflected on each gauge. This concludes this video and thank you for watching.